All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. And today we're doing another uh, meal under $1. So if you're on a really tight budget, this will bring us in under $1. I'll show you the numbers as we go. So what we're gonna do is a tuna and brown rice dish that we're gonna add a couple things to to give us some really good flavor. Hopefully enjoy that last meal we did, which was the tuna salad. Uh, if you notice the meal's under a dollar, we're, we're gonna use a lot of tuna and then we'll, you've got some egg ones coming as well. Those are the, the protein sources that tend to be the most economical. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Instapot again and we're gonna use brown rice. Brown rice takes a little bit longer to cook in here than white rice does, but that's okay. We got plenty of time. We're not allowed to go anywhere. Although I am wearing a Cayman Island shirt, so we can all pretend we're on vacation together. We're in the Cayman Islands eating tuna and brown rice. So uh, the Instapot, uh, we love this thing. Super easy to use. What you're gonna do is you're going to put in um, a cup of rice. Now that'll give you four servings. You wanna rinse it first. We rinsed that last night and then we wanna do a cup of water. Each serving is one quarter cup uncooked. It's about 35 grams of carbohydrates. So that would be about 140 grams of carbs right there, four servings. So now we're gonna start the Instapot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit pressure cook and we're gonna make sure that it's on high pressure, which it is. And then we're gonna take it down to 20 minutes. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna start pressurizing. So you wanna make sure this is the venter. You wanna make sure that it's not vented. You wanna make sure that it's this way so that it's sealed. And uh, you just heard the beep. So what the machine is saying is, okay, now I'm pressurizing. So once it gets done pressurizing, it'll start the cooking process and we will be on our way. All right, so the rice is done. So I'm gonna get some scoops here. All right, now we have some more things to add to the rice. We have some peas. We're gonna mix in. That was a quarter cup of peas. We're gonna throw in some carrots. And now this is 79 cents, okay? That's what we're gonna to use to get down to our final number. This is actually 89 cents, but we're splurging today. If, you, if your budget will put you, if your budget, you have to be under a dollar, then you're gonna use the can. But if you can go another 10 cents, we're gonna go with the buffalo flavored tuna. So, I absolutely love the buffalo flavored tuna, so. All right, <clears throat> mix it all up. Look at that. This is a giant spoon, by the way. That's a lot of good food right there. Hello, my name is Alexander Meadows, and today I'm going to be doing the Eiffel Tower hop. Mm -mm. All right, let's get to the cost. So a can of tuna would have been 79 cents. Uh, we did add in, we did add the flavored tuna today just cause I like it. That's an extra, that's an extra 10 cents, but we'll say 79 cents. The brown rice, a quarter cup dry, uh, adds six cents. The peas, we did a quarter cup and based on how much that cost, it added an additional um, 11 cents. And then the carrots, based on how much that costs and the serving we use, actually added another three cents. 
So we had 79 cents for the tuna, six cents for the brown rice, three cents for the carrots, and 11 cents for the peas, bringing up a grand total of 99 cents. Now the macros for that, it's about 22 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs, three or four grams of fat, 285 calories. That's a good meal for me. It's a good meal for most of the women. The guys probably want to eat something a little bigger. If you double that, if you're if you're balling, you got a lot of money and you can afford a $1.98 meal. If you double it up, you get 42 grams of protein, 83 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat, and 530 calories. Um, but the, just the combination of the food uh, that we mix, it's really, really good. Certainly a lot better than just the plain old low sodium tuna and brown rice I used to eat. That's a million times better. I wish I would have known that back in the old days. There you go. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.